Hello everyone. Happy Friday. We're finally here. We're finally live. Uh, and today we're starting our next peaks, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, something a little bit different. I personally haven't done one of these before. I don't do many sets of drawers, full stop, but I am excited to do this. I've always wanted to do one. Um, so this series of lives, I'm pretty much going to do every step of the way, start to finish, um, live. So, and then I'll pop them all up as a series onto our YouTube as well so you can catch up on them. As always, if you're just tuning in, don't watch it all, just have a quick scroll through. Um, there'll be lots of uh, me just talking, me just not talking or doing a whole lot where it's very, very repetitive. Um, as it is with pieces like this, there's lots of just, it's, it's very, it could be pretty boring. So don't watch it all. Um, tune in. Most of the information, the, the good stuff, the stuff where you guys are hopefully going to learn something will be at the start of the videos. And I always try to do that for you. So tune into those and then we'll see how we go. Now, um, I am waiting for somebody that said that I'd be here around lunchtime. I've got about 20 minutes. So let's see how we go, but I might have to stop and then come back on later. So ahead of time, I apologize for that. So let me show you our piece. Um, so it is a big pine. Let me make sure you can see what we're talking about. A big pine dresser. It's like hip height. It's quite a good size. It's well, one and a half meters wide. So it's quite a good size. Um, it is, although like it is a nice piece, it is one of the pieces where it's like mass produced, very cheaply produced. Um, let me bring you in a bit closer and show you what I mean. It's a pine piece of furniture. It is solid, which is a win. It is nice and solid, but it is very much a mass produced, cheaper end piece of furniture. In the shops, well, you could probably even find a piece very similar now for sale, but I would say this would have been anywhere, depending on the store, anywhere from like the $500 to a $1,000 mark brand new. Um, it would have been on the lower end. And again, it depends where it was being sold, but um, oh, it's a nice piece. It's got some beautiful detailing, which you can't see at all because you're all the way up there. Let me bring you off here for a second, sorry. And turn your and show you what we're working with. So it's got this beautiful corniced detailing, which um, just adds that little that little bit of detail. So like Australian furniture, we get pretty boring, but this piece, like it's got, it's got a bit of detail. It's got, oh, hang on, sorry, sorry, Facebook. I don't know if that showed you, but it has a hissy fit if you turn it sideways. Has a little bit of detailing there on the legs, a little bit here at the front as well. Some people like to remove all that. I'm not going to. I think it's part of the piece. Um, and like it is, let me move the drawer out of the road. The drawers have a very slight bevel to them, but it is big. It is very flat. Um, it, it doesn't have a lot going for it. Yeah, it's, it's about as boring as Australian furniture gets. So we're gonna give it some love. Um, as I was saying, this is a very cheap mass produced piece where the drawers have just been stapled together. They haven't even bothered with a dovetail. Um, let me bring you down. Oh, hang on, I've got one here. My husband had a client that had an orange tree, so I got an orange for lunch today. This is a dovetail where they cut two pieces and they just slide in together. They fit beautifully, they're really strong joints. So when you're looking for a good quality piece of furniture, this is a great way to tell if it's good quality um, or better quality than this schmozzle. Um, so they're not, it, it's a cheap piece of furniture. Um, I don't typically say how much I paid for pieces um, just because I sell as well. But do I want to tell you today? Hmm. You know what? Why not? Full transparency. This piece cost me $90. 
So I probably, I like to personally keep when I'm buying pieces around the $50 mark. I like to put a fair bit of effort into my pieces. It, and again, it depends on what the piece is. A piece like this, I would pay quite comfortably upwards of $100. Um, but you, you've got to sort of work out where, where you're at as well. Obviously, I do stock all the paint. Sorry, I'm just going to pop you back up here in the tripod. Ignore the behind me. <laughs> Um, normally, like obviously I'm stocking the products that I use, so I do get them at a wholesale rate, uh, which cuts my cost down, which allows me to spend a little bit more on pieces. But if you're not in that position, um, just keep that in mind as well. Um, I have discussed how I price pieces in the past, uh, but I take into account the cost of the piece the cost of the supplies. I don't sit down and like exact amount. I've used like 88 mil of paint and this, it cost me this much. I don't do that. I just do a rough estimate. Um, I have been doing this for a while though, so I've got like a pretty good idea of where I'm at, but I don't like, I don't get down to the nitty gritty cost um, for my pieces. But I take in a rough, a rough, guide of how much I've put into it. If I've put in things like handles, um, this piece may need new runners, so that's something that um, that's something that I'll take into consideration as well when I am pricing out a piece and whether or not it is worth me spending a certain amount on it um, and then what I do with it as well. As it sits right now, I have been selling a lot of pieces lately as is. Um, I've brought them at a good price. I've been able to sell them uh, for a profit. Obviously, I'm a business. I need to make a profit. Um, I have to pay my mortgage somehow. Um, so this piece, because I paid 90 for it in the condition that it's in, and we'll go into that in a minute, I can't comfortable. Like, I would, I would never, ever, ever. Sorry, I just knocked the microphone. Never be happy selling this piece as it sits right now, and for what I paid for it, absolutely not. Um, ideally, I'd like to double my money. There's no way I'd be comfortable selling this piece, $150, $200, um, as it sits. Absolutely not. And we'll, I'll show you out re my reasoning behind that in a second. Um, but even if it didn't have the issues that it had, I still, it's, it's like, it's worn. It's got a fair few marks on it. For me, I don't feel comfortable selling it at that price point. So it makes more sense because I have paid $90 for it to then put the effort in, fix it up, um, do, do everything that it needs to get it back to a functioning, really well functioning level um, and get it looking beautiful because right now it ain't looking beautiful. It is orange pine, it's ugly at the best of times, but when you add in lots of wear and tear, it's just not there for me. So. Um, I know I do get asked about pricing quite a lot, so I hope that helps somewhat. If you have more questions or you want me to um, sort of dive into it a little bit more, please let me know. I, I'm very transparent. I'm happy to talk about this stuff. Um, but my husband always tells me, no, don't talk about money. Nobody wants to hear about money. But I know it's still very much a taboo topic, I think. But I'm very, I'm very much an open book. If you guys want to hear more about like how much I'm paying for a piece, how much I'm making off a piece, um, my costs, etc., involved as well, I can. I, I'm absolutely happy to pay. Uh, sorry, pay for it. I'm absolutely happy to share that information as well. So let me know. But anyway, full transparency. Ninety dollars is what this has cost me so far. Um, we're going to start having a play around with it. All I've done so far is get it here. And uh, it's, it's quite solid, it's very heavy. Um, and it took me like a good half an hour to work out which drawer goes in which hole. Um, it is cheaply made, it's not very square, and it was not a fun, enjoyable experience. So as I take the drawers out today, we're gonna write on which drawer goes where because I'm not going through another half an hour of that. Um, so this piece, it is, the runners on it is sort of my first, point of call before I do anything else. I just want these to be perfect before I start doing any further prep. So sometimes, and I don't get pieces with runners very often, um, and that's these things here, these um, metal brackets. Sometimes they're plastic, um, 
but I personally don't actually have many pieces with runners on them. Maybe a handful a year. Most of my pieces are too old for them. Um, so, but pieces like this, they're what, 90s, early 2000s, majority of them at that time and going forward now have runners. It's very common for them to have them. So, but these runners, they look fine. And these are you pretty these are these are quite good ones to have. Um, there's a, like there's heaps of different varieties. The ones with the little ball bearings in them are an absolute nightmare and I hate them. But these ones are pretty stock standard. Um, they're really cheap. I'm actually going to double check in a second on um, Bunnings how much they are at the moment. Um, I haven't had a chance yet, but stock standard. They look like they're in really good shape, but they're just not sliding very well. And I don't know why. Why does that say eight drawer dresser? There's only six drawers. Maybe these drawers aren't out of this. Maybe that's what my issue was. I just noticed on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that. It says eight drawer dresser. Well, there's only six drawers in this. Maybe that's what my issue's been. Well, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I don't have an eight drawer dresser. Do they all say that? Now, this one, you see how it's like grabbing? It's really rough. It doesn't want to just slide nicely. They're just, this one has to be replaced 100%. Oh, does this one say it too? No. That's interesting. I wonder why, because this would have been like part of a big bedroom set. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Never mind. Um, it's clearly only six drawers though, so unless I meant to write six and wrote eight, I don't know. So, some of them run fairly well, and they don't look like worn down when you're looking at these sort of runners you want to look at they got a little wheel just here so look at that if it's got flat spots sometimes that's enough to sort of not go so well but this one's just this one in particular is really bad the others aren't as bad but we want to look at the runners first i just it will make the entire process much easier if i can get the runners sailing smoothly and working well. So what we're gonna do is you just wanna grab yourself, use whatever you've got going. Um, I'm just gonna use some trucks cloth, baby wipes are great as well. I actually really like these. My um, mother-in-law likes to bring us gifts. A lot of the time it's like random stuff that I don't want, but occasionally she gives me stuff that's really good and I really actually like these. Um, but. I like to just sort of go along and let me tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing. Be easy, I was gonna move backwards, but that's not gonna work. All right, where are we? There we are. So I like to just sort of take it along and really rub it along that runner. Rub it along the wheel as well. Sometimes it's just, they get a bit grotty and gross and that's enough to sort of stop them from running. I always do this process first, just to see if I can get them working fine. Um, if there's an obvious issue, like they're really bent or something, then doing this isn't gonna do anything to them. Um, but sometimes this is enough with a bit of beeswax and a good clean, this is enough to get them to the point where they function absolutely fine and there was nothing wrong with them. They were just a bit dirty and grotty and grimy. Although this piece overall, it's actually pretty, pretty clean. I would say somebody has clean this at some point because they are pretty good. So sort of just running the cloth along, pretty self-explanatory, give it a wipe down. I'm gonna do the same on the runners inside as well. So we're just going to run your cloth along. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty grimy. They don't look too, like it looks like it's been backing down inside, but they don't, they don't look amazing. So we're just gonna give them a little 
wipe sometimes yeah just a, a, a quick clean is enough to get these things running really 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 well again and then we're gonna grab some beeswax as well and pop on them and see if it's enough to get them going if it's not then at that point we'll just replace them um, and I was gonna look up as well the price of these so for you runners you just want to measure the length. I'll show you that as well. Like, oh, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, but the feedback I've been getting about what I'm showing and like these back to basics, these are the basic of the basic. Um, the feedback that I've been getting just from showing this sort of stuff that a lot of people I didn't realize don't think about um, or it might not occur to you because this isn't what you do. The feedback I've been getting is really, really good and you guys want to keep seeing this. So, by all means, if you already know this or you don't want to see it, tune out, go do something else and come back a bit later when we're doing something more exciting like painting. But these, they're basics. They're good things to sort of just have in your back pocket. I know it's not super exciting. There's nothing exciting about cleaning, let's be honest. I know some people love it, but cleaning's not. I'm, I'm not, a, not a cleaner at all, I hate cleaning. But I know some of you have been getting quite a lot out of this really basic stuff in our lives. Um, and it's been encouraging a lot of you to have a go. So I'm just gonna wipe down this one as well. This is the top, top drawer. And I'm gonna grab a pen as well. This one's like, let me bring it a bit closer so you can see. You can, I don't know how well the camera will see it, but. Can you see how it's got like a silver edge where, where it's worn off? So it's been grinding itself down a little bit for a while. We'll put some wax on it, see how it's feeling. If I'm still not 100% happy with it, I'm just going to replace it. Um, I'll just wipe this end as well. And then I'll show you measuring straightforward from one end to the other. When you're doing your runners, I would say this is the person that's looking for me. So I'm going to pause. Um, I wish I could pause a live, but I can't. So I will be back in like 10, 15 minutes. Um, so join me again in 10 to 15 minutes. And when I put this on YouTube, I'll sandwich it all together too. So you're not like watching multiple videos. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, back again. I have a sneaky suspicion I'm going to be interrupted again, but let's see how we go. Um, worst comes to worst, I'll just take the mic off and we'll be fine. <laughs> um, so I just thought I'd quickly pull up a Bunnings website. Um, if you do have to replace runners, I've found, and I've done a lot of shopping around, sometimes it's cheaper to go to eBay or like AliExpress and get them straight from China. Um, but I find most of the time, depending on the size and what you're after as well, Bunnings prices are pretty good with runners. Um, I haven't really found anywhere significantly cheaper to make it sort of worthwhile. Also Bunnings to most of us is fairly easy to access. Um, so, and that, and that is why I sort of recommend Bunnings for a lot of things as well because most of us have one within a fairly accessible location as well. So, um, while I'm waiting for my internet to load that, let's have a look at these drawers. So, I've given them a clean, which is what we were just doing. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab yourself um, a block of beeswax. Now, you can get one like this. This came from the markets. All your honey sellers tend to sell them. I told you I was going to be interrupted again. No, I'm not. He's No, that's fine. That's my husband's. One of my husband's people. They will very quickly work out that he's not there. I think. I hope. Hang on. Give me two seconds. Excuse the interruptions today. I told you it was going to be like this. <laughs> Give me two seconds, guys.
we are back. I told ya, it's gonna be one of those days. Nothing normal. Oh no, we had one this morning and then that was it. So, oh hang on, I'm gonna shut the door because it's freezing cold. Um, it, the heater thinks it's like six degrees in here. It is, oh hang on, that's probably too far. <laughs> Um, it is freezing cold. We have finally been able to order like a big industrial heater for in here. But then we got the email last night saying, oh no, it's out of stock. We have to order it. So it's going to be like two or three weeks. So by the time it gets here, it'll be almost summer and then I won't want it anymore. <laughs> okay. So you want to grab yourself a block of beeswax. Um, most of the honey sellers at the markets generally have some. Um, if you've got a honey seller that sort of pops up on Facebook, reach out to them because chances are they will sell you a block. Um, I think I paid like $8 for this. It wasn't a lot. Um, I can actually get um, blocks of beeswax from one of my suppliers for you if this is something that you would like me to stock. Um, I think I'll be around that $9 to $10 mark. And I think they're 100 grams, so they're like half of this. Um, but if you, if that's something that you would like me to get in, um, and stock so that you can easily get it, let me know. But this will uh, like this size last you forever. I think I've still got my original one that I brought like 15 years ago when I was at school. Um, I needed it for, for a project. So I've still got that uh, floating around as well. They just keep going, but you want one of these and this is your secret to getting your drawers running smoothly. So whether it's a piece with runners or... An older piece like this that doesn't have runners, this is your secret to getting them running smoothly. So if you don't have a beeswax block, um, a candle can work really well as well. Worst case scenario, waxed baking paper also works. Um, if you're in a pinch and that's all you've got access to, it does work. There's just enough on it that um, it does do the trick. It's not as good, but it does work. But beeswax or a candle, and on an old drawer like this, I'm just gonna show you so you know what, know what I'm talking about. You're just gonna run it along anywhere that sort of touches with the actual piece. So along the bottom runner, along the top piece, and you're just gonna run it up and down a couple of times, along the sides as well. Just a quick little little wax. There you go, Callie. I've done this one now for you. This is a client's piece. <laughs> um, same on the other side, up and down. And then I like to do along the bottom and along the top as well. It just stops it sticking. And then when you get your piece, I'm not going to move you closer because then I've got to put you back in two seconds. But then you'll get your piece. And this is the piece that backs off. It's a beautiful sideboard. You'll sort of run it along anywhere that drawer touches, so up and down the sides, and then you'll push it all the way back, and you'll do it along those runners where your drawer sits as well. And then when you put your drawer back in, and this drawer looks pretty good, it's just going, it's going to feel like butter, okay? So it should be really nice and um, smooth, well, and that drawer was great already, but now it's that little bit better. I am so cold right now, hang on two seconds. Let me just move it into closer to me because my fingers are frozen. <laughs> okay, I've got two heaters blowing on me and I'm still cold. It's not getting any warmer in here. Okay, so grab your beeswax block, same concept for your drawer runners. So you're just gonna sort of take it and I like beeswax blocks because they've got a nice edge to them. And I'm just gonna run it up and down a few times and then I'm also let me tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm doing because these drawers are heavy I've just got my little wheel and I'm just sort of going to very slowly rotate the wheel and just rub my wax block along it as well so really nice coat of wax top and bottom now and this will last forever as well. Um, in the future, with a lot of use, yes, they'll wear down. They'll need this again or they will need replacing. But for right now, this is absolutely fine. Um, if it doesn't have to be replaced right now, 
don't replace it. And again, every single piece is different about what they need. Still on the wheel again, the wheels tend to wear down a lot on these. If they've got like a big flat spot on them, just replace them because that's generally what the issue is. But sometimes this is enough just to get them nice and smooth. You may choose just to automatically replace and that's fine as well. So just play it by ear um, and like, do whatever you like. <laughs> You're gonna take the block as well, and again, I'm just gonna run it along the inside of my runners in here, just to make sure they're all nice and smooth. I'm gonna do it on my wheel again. I'm gonna do it on the other side. So just a nice, nice coat up and down. While I've got this top drawer out as well, I'm just going to run along this next one down. This makes my life a little bit easier if you can. Along the wheels on this side as well. I'm pretty certain this, actual, this second one down is going to have to be replaced. But we'll see how we go. we know we're going to replace them and then we'll move on to what's next today. I have got some, but um, I don't know. I think I've got like two matching sets there, so we might be able to replace one today. Uh, Let's pop this in and see if we're now going nice and smoothly. So these ones, you just sort of get the wheels over the top of each other. And then you just wiggle until you get them in. They don't always go in beautifully, but most of the time they do. That does feel so much better. Just give it a few turns. They might sometimes they're better with a bit of weight in the drawer as well, but we'll um, I'll decide. Let's pop this one in. self-explanatory sorry I've got it's gonna go flat apparently <laughs> um, self-explanatory but as I said um, in part one part one um, a lot of you have been getting quite a lot out of like these back to basics so I'm just gonna show you for back to basics sake so you're gonna measure from the front of your runner to the back and this one is 40 centimeters on the dot so most are like exact. I think it's like 25, 30, 40, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is how heavy your drawers are and how much weight they can withstand. Most runners these days can withstand 100 plus kilos. So it's not really a major concern, but just keep that in mind as well. Sometimes you'll find really cheap runners which look great, but they can't handle the amount of weight 
that they need to handle as well. So a fully loaded drawer, depending on what's in it, um, it might it might be too heavy as well. So just keep that in mind. If you've got like a really big old piece with big old drawers that need runners, um, sometimes those drawers, they're, oh, Jesus, don't do that to me. Um, sometimes they're, they're just too big and heavy. So just keep that in mind. Hello, Karina, how are you, love? All right, so bringing up the Bunnings website, I actually wanna look up, because it's been a while. Let me give you an accurate price for a change. It doesn't happen often. So you're just gonna, self-explanatory, 40 centimeter, draw runners and see what comes up. And when you're replacing runners, you wanna pretty much get what you already had. It's the easiest option. Um, don't try and change styles. Oh, I generally recommend not changing styles because that's when you start having issues and you're just making your job harder than what it needs to be. So if you can, just put the same kind back on. Um, so for these ones, for example, what I'm talking about there is don't then switch to that style. Um, it's great, but, um, and that, like those runners are the bee's knees, but they're just not going, like, they're not your best friend. Don't do that. It is, it is freezing. Thankfully it's not windy, but it's six degrees in here today. Um, I am over this freezing cold weather and all of next week's meant to be like under 10 degrees as well. Um, and my heat is still like three weeks off. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got two little blow heaters. It's just, it's just not working for me. All right, so this particular type and these ones are the same. They're just in a different color. They normally come in white and black. This is a set white. That's these ones here. So it's a two part set, same as what we've got on here. And they are, so it's one pair and a pair does one draw. They're $8.26, right, $8.26. So worst case scenario, I'm gonna end up replacing all six drawers, $8.26. Can somebody do the maths for me? I wish iPads need calculators and it drives me nuts that they don't have one. And I have a feeling if I do my phone, I don't even have a calculator on here. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I'm not good at maths, so don't, don't rely on my maths. If you have an ABN, make sure you get yourself a trade card at Bunnings as well. You just need an ABN. Um, it's only 5%. It's nothing. But do that or have your flybys and make sure that you're earning yourself something back on your purchases as well. Where are we? How much did I say they were? 826, that's not gonna help me. Let me pull up the correct app. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. My fingers are frozen solid. 826 and I'm going to need six of them. $49.56. So on top of the $90 that I've already paid for myself, paid for the drawers, so far my expenses are going to be around $139. There's six drawers. Um, so our expenses are getting up there. If I have to replace runners, I typically won't replace handles as well. I'll do one or the other, but very rarely both. Um, I don't know, and then, like, and these handles are beautiful. I love this style. I think they're really nice. Um, but in saying that, I do wish they were bigger because these drawers, these are, these are big. These are all the little thought processes that you go through. These are 64 centimetres big. That's big, wide. <laughs> 64 centimetres by... 20 centimeters. So these are big drawers and these handles are on the smaller side. In saying that, they do, I think they go quite well with our bit of detailing. So I don't mind them. Um, ideally, I would love to replace them, but because I'm most like, I think, I'm trying to make a decision. I think I'm just gonna replace the runners, to be honest. I think it's just going to be easier. I do have a couple of sets here already, so I'm not going to have to buy all of them. Um, but 
Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't wanna put more into this, like your handles, depending on where you're getting them and what you're getting, five to ten dollars a handle. So you could easily go from like what thirty to sixty dollars just in handles as well. And then we're we're already at what was it, 159? Was that what I said? Um, and then all of a sudden we're we're at like a two hundred dollar price point before I've even 139, sorry. So with our handles, we're, yeah, we're, we're almost at like, and then our paint, we're almost at a $200 price point, just in supplies to get this done, um, which is obviously quite an investment into it. And then for me personally, I would need to be getting at least 600 for this set. So I'd need to be getting about $400 out of this to make it worth my time. So I've sort of got to, you got to weigh up whether or not it's worth it for you. Obviously I am getting my paints at wholesale, so it does cut my costs a little bit, but um, these are all the, like those little decisions that you need to make along the way. I do try to reuse hardware as much as possible. Um, I will actually keep all of these drawer runners when I take them off. I'll pop them out the back, you never know. There might be two that are absolutely fine um, for a future project and they'll work really, really well. So I don't throw away anything, but um, you sort of, you know, these are just decisions. They, it's part of the process. Um, so my decision is, is that we are going to replace, I'm gonna replace, probably all right. I think we're gonna replace all the runners. You're okay. No, you're no good. So I've got one, two, three. So I've got one, two, I've got three that I'm going to replace. Three that I'm going to leave as is. My only other issue is, and for most people it's not an issue, but it will annoy me, is that our current runners are black and the new runners will be white. Uh, come on, I'm pretty sure that's the only option that Bunnings had. Not a major issue, but it will annoy me a little bit. <laughs> That's not, that's not gonna help me. Hang on, where's my website gone? Yeah, so the new ones come in white. Do they have them in black? Let's see. No, not in that size. I bet you they've got the next ones up in black though. When, like we're not going to, let's go all the way back here. We're not gonna fit the next size up. Sometimes you can get away with the next size up. No, nope, they don't have the next size up in this style at all. So that's easy. <laughs> so, yes, right. 